welcome learner in our science class for four standard learner today we will start a new topic so let's begin they can crawl on leaves they can fly in airs they can dig in the ground they are the tiny creature having six legs who are they they are the insect so today we will learn more about insect insect are found everywhere on the earth they are the tiny animals having the six legs and they form the largest group of animals on the earth it is estimated that 926400 species of insects are described so far so they form the largest group of animals on the earth some insect such as butterfly moth wasp ladybird mosquito and the house fly are found outside our home but they differ in their shape size color and the many other features just like human being insect also have the body parts and the most of the insect have the common body parts their body is divided into the three different parts they are head thorax and abdomen so head is the front part of the body which is round and the smallest to all the body parts it has the one pair of eyes the insect have the eyes that have the thousand of lenses like human eye have only the one lens but insect have the eyes that have thousand of lenses this means they have very wide vision which allow them to see in all direction the head of the insect also bear a pair of antenna with their antenna insect can detect the sound smell as well as the vibrations so they also have a mouth not all the insect have a same type of mouth some insect drink and some chew and swallow the food so the shape of the mouth of an insect depend upon their feeding habits so next part is thorax this part of the body bears three pairs of legs and two two or one pairs of wings mostly the insect have two pairs of wings but the house fly have only the one pair of wings the worker ant do not have the wings but the queen ant that have the wings but it shed off its wings after forming the colony so behind the thorax abdomen is there and it is the largest part of the body of an insect and it is further divided or segmented into the smaller parts some insect like the honey bee and the wasp have stinger at their back of their abdomen and there are the small holes are present on the either sides of the abdomen and they are called the spiracles as we breathe through our nose similarly insect can breathe through these spiracles so learner insect do not have the bones but they have the hard outer covering outside their body they in which is called the exoskeleton and they also differ in their feeding habits some feed on the nectar of the flower some suck the blood while some chew and swallow the food so the insect like honey bee bumble bee and the butterfly they get attracted to what the fresh flower and the suck the nectar from that flower and these insect while visiting to the flower also help in the pollination when insect 
sit on the flower, the pollen grains stick to their legs or wings and get transferred to the another place. And this process of shifting of pollen grains from one place to another is called pollination. So, learner, do you know some insect live on their own whereas some other live in their groups? So, insect like bee, ours and termite which lives in the, in the group with the other individual of the same species are known as social insect. So, insect like the termites, bee and ours are living the colonies are called social insect and purpose of living together is to get the protection from their enemies and the sharing of food and work. These social insects like the ours or the termites also teaches us a lesson. They live in the colony and they teach us a very good lesson that alone we can do so little but together we can do so much. So this is all about today. In next video, we will learn about useful and harmful insect. So, thank you. Have a nice day.